Today, we spin the wheel of weights. We will go position by position, and each player must line up with the weight that we land on the wheel. So if my left guard needs to be 165 pounds, I guess my left guard will be Tyreek Hill. Additionally, the wheel has a burger and a salad. The burger is a 250 plus pound jackpot, and the salad is a jackpot, but 250 pounds or lighter. Our quarterback will come in at a whopping, oh, this is great. Ah, it's a little light, actually. It's a little light. 175 pounds. Okay, yeah, listen, I'm glad it's not 315. I don't uh -huh. think Big Ben's in the game anymore, you know? Now, the weights that I can use are anywhere between this weight and the next highest. So 175 pounds up to 184 pounds. If they're 185, though, I cannot use them. Keep in mind, I don't care what you or I personally think a player's weight is. I'm gonna be using what is on their Madden card. What does Lamar Jackson weigh? Is he 205? 212. Okay. Pretty sure rookie Lamar was like 175, but... Not a massive shocker here. The absolute lightest quarterback in the game is Kyler Murray, but he's so much heavier than people give him credit for. He's also taller. I know compared to really tall guys like Trevor Lawrence, he is, but he's 5'10", 207. 90 overall Kyler Murray, 5'10", 207 pounds. It's actually a pretty nice card. It came out a long time ago, but it's still pretty nice. Next up, we're gonna take a halfback. I'm starting out with the two most important. Oh, this is such a good weight for a half. Oh, it might be a little heavy weight. Burger! Burger! Oh no, AJ Dillon. Oh, dude, this AJ Dillon is so, so, so good. But he's 247. Like, he's right there. He's three pounds off. 250? Dude, 250 plus for a halfback? I'm gonna have a big ass boy down there. I wonder what King Henry is. You think King Henry's over that? King Henry's 250. I have to go King Henry. This is King Henry right here. 96 overall. 255 pounds. He's got 96 speed. He's got 97 break tackle. None of that's really all that important. What's important is his ability freight train King Henry. For four or five plays, it's on. And then it needs a little charge up time but he just dominates everybody with this ability. I put on a bunch of other shit on him. You don't need any of it. Like, you don't need goal line back. You can get tank for 1 AP and bruiser for free. I usually don't worry about abilities this early in the game, but I just wanted you guys to understand why I can't take Vita Vea, even though I'd love to. This King Henry puts every other halfback in this game to shame. Next up is a fullback. We want to be high in the weights here as well. Am I going to double burger? Am I really going to double burger? Oh, 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 I was so close right there. That's still a really good weight for a fullback. The heaviest fullback in the game is William Perry, the refrigerator at 335 pounds. Is Okoye 255? Oh, Nigerian Nightmares 253. We can't take Christian Okoye, one of my favorite fullbacks. However, there is a new fullback who I've never used. And honestly, a lot of teams in the NFL don't even use fullbacks anymore. It's a dying position. Either way, there is a brand new Jacob Johnson veteran. Six foot three and 255 on the dots. He's got 87 lead block, 87 impact, 88 run block. He's, he's no Nigerian nightmare. He'll have to do. Why don't we do wide receivers next? I'll start with my wide receiver one, who's going to be a big, big boy. 275? See, I think of a guy like Megatron, right? But Megatron could not have been more than 240 pounds. The absolute heaviest wide receiver in the game is Chase Claypool at 238. The next heaviest is who I just mentioned, Megatron at 236, which means I am going to have to take Chase Claypool here. There is not a single Chase Claypool on the entire auction house. And Jamar Chase's best card is a 92. I don't know who works for EA, but they should be fired. Also, today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. And I'm really excited to go to some Phoenix Suns games coming up. Here's Clippers at Suns as low as $21 a ticket. Green is well-priced tickets and red is bad. In this example, there's a lot of good deals. When looking for the best ticket, SeatGeek even ranks each ticket price. Green is good and red is bad. So I have a lot of good options for this game. And you can use my code MMG for $20 off your first order at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code MMG. Enjoy the rest of the video. What a bummer, you guys. There's not a single Chase Claypool. Looks like we're gonna have to get Calvin Johnson. Look, I don't make the rules, you guys. He's not on the auction house. I don't know what to say. 94 overall Calvin Johnson is my wide receiver. Do not mind if I do. He's two pounds off. He's one cheeseburger away from Claypool anyway, all right? All right, our wide receiver one is the biggest possible. Our wide receiver two is gonna be small, but he could be fast. Actually, I take that back. 185 might be a very optimal wide receiver size. Who's the lightest wide receiver? The lightest Lightest wide receiver is 22 Atwell, 5'9, 160. You know who's 185 pounds on the dot? Which is really impressive, by the way. I don't know if this is accurate. Tyreek Hill.
The Cheetah. 96 overall, 5'9", 185, 97 speed. The absolute fastest card in the game, and it ain't close. He's 185 pounds on the dot. Doesn't get any better than that, gentlemen. We got Cheetah and Megatron. And you know what? I'll make my wide receiver three Chase Claypool. My wide receivers are cracked. I don't want to cheat. I'll use Chase Claypool at wide receiver three. All right, that moves us to our left tackle. All right, if we ever wanted some heavy boys, it would be right now. Is there even going to be a 205 pound left? There's no way. You can't be a left tackle in the NFL and weigh this much. Okay, our left tackle, since it's literally impossible to get anyone as light as they wanted, we're on the heaviest end. This has got to be good, I assume. 355. Okay, Jordan Mailata is 365, so we can't get him, but we're in the right zone here. Orlando Brown's the only one in there. He has an 88 overall, but it doesn't exist right now. We're gonna have to go with 78 overall Orlando Brown. However, they weigh different amounts. They're the same fucking guy. So this Orlando Brown is 345. The other one is 363. What did he put on eight? pounds in between the cards getting made? I don't believe that. <laughs> we have only one more option. Makai Becton, there's one on the auction house. He's 67364. He perfectly fits here as well. Alrighty. It moves us to left guard. This is gonna be tough. The old lineman on this is gonna be tough unless I stay in the heavy range. 345 feels better. After seeing how thin 355 was, I like this better for left guards. But I don't know. I feel like left guards are a lot smaller. The absolute heaviest left guard is Landon Dickerson at 332. I find that interesting. 91 overall, Landon Dickerson, the 6'6", 332 pound left guard. It is massive for a guard. 6'6 six six is crazy. I feel like most guards are like 6'3". On to center next. I bet you the perfect weight to get for a center be like 305. I'm cracked. I'm actually cracked. 315 for our center. The heaviest center is Bradley Bozeman at 325. John Feliciano is 325 as well. Oh my god. Look who is 300. And 19 pounds. Ryan Jensen, the Red Tornado. The best center in the game. If you guys aren't familiar with this card, he has his own chemistry. It makes your left and right guard have plus seven agility, plus four speed, plus seven excel, and plus one run block finesse. It's so good. That could not have gotten any better. An absolute jackpot at center for 315. Let's get it. All right, that moves us to our right guard. Dude, I'm actually clutching up so hard on this. Right guard's gonna be 335. That's a little heavy for a right guard. Larry Allen is 300. 130 pounds, the greatest right guard of all time, Larry Allen. 94 overall, Larry Allen. Six foot three, 335 on the dot. Dude, I needed this. I needed this luck for quarterback. I don't need this luck for my O line. Got beautiful spins here. I got Kyler to, to show for it. Our final offensive line position is right tackle. We've been great thus far. It's gonna be a huge. He's gonna be massive. 365 right tackle. That could be... There's gonna be like one right tackle who's just super heavy and he's gonna throw this whole thing off. Daniel Falele is the heaviest guy in the league. He weighed in at 410 at one point, but Madden has him at 390. My only option at right tackle is not that bad, but it could certainly be better is 85 overall Trent Brown. And there's not a single Trent Brown on the auction house. I'm gonna have to go Daniel Falele. Dude, I know I'm not saying that name right. I don't know how you say Buddy's name. You know what? This is actually sick. For the wheel of weights, the absolute heaviest player in the entire league. My boy Daniel right here at 6'8", 390. He's absolute dog shit. He's horrible. So the right side, dude, if they've got anybody halfway decent coming off the edge, I'm smoked. The last position on offense is our tight end. Now that I say it out loud, I don't know how heavy tight ends are. If I had to guess how heavy like George Kittle is, I'd say 280. We're gonna get 325 lucky pot tight end. Dude, we are just camping in the 300 right now. I think there's a Dexter Lawrence tight end. The absolute heaviest tight end of the game is Dexter Lawrence. 90 overall coming in at 342. There's a Taylor Decker at 318 and I have to go over which means my tight end is Dexter Lawrence. At low key this Dexter Lawrence blocks like an absolute god though. But it is Dexter Lawrence my boy and his blocking stats are crazy. 95 run block. We've just built a dominant run game team. We could even run you know we could pull out some read option with Kyler Murray. 90 overall tight end promoted to starting tight end all right for the wheel of weights this is our halftime we're gonna take a look at our offense then we'll move on to defense all right gentlemen here is the offense the interior of my line is is cracked jensen's boosted to a 97 he boosts larry allen to a 96 and dickerson to a 93 i also have a strategy item for my own line so that's why everybody's boosted but my tackles arguably the most important are horrible makai becton and daniel falele i don't think that's how you say his name i don't care our tight end is dexter lawrence Megatron Cheetah as our wide receiver one and two, which is incredible. Chase Claypool, not so great. The best halfback in the game, undisputed. The best center in the game, undisputed. The fastest wide receiver in the game, a mediocre quarterback, and an all right.
all right fullback. This is an interesting, interesting offense. I'll say that. All right, here's the final head count. Yak him up, Cheetah, and short in Elite. King Henry with Tank Bruiser and Freight Train. Larry Allen with Nasty Streak and Puller Elite. Landon Dickerson with Post Up. Kyler Murray with Dashing Deadeye. And Dexter Lawrence with Vanguard Post Up. It's actually gonna be fun. I'm excited. It puts my offense at a 90 overall. Let's go on to defense. A D tackle is absolutely a big boy. So, oh boy. I'm gonna have one of these smallest D tackles in the league at 245. It's gotta be an out of position D tackler. This is hardly gonna be possible. The heaviest D tackle is 366. The lightest D tackle is Brian Cowart at 300 pounds. So they're all, they're all between 300 and 366. And look at just, look at this nightmare. There's a 94 Jeffrey Simmons. He's 300. And one, literally one fucking chicken nugget away. There's another guy at 300 pounds. It's Jonathan Allen. This is the best card Jonathan Allen has. That's so crazy to me. He is tied for the absolute lightest D tackle at 300 pounds. So that's what we'll have to do. I can't really put anyone else there. All right, at left end, I honestly wouldn't mind 245 here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm him. 245 pounds. Ooh, Brian Burns is 249. Daniel Hunter falls in that range at 252. I'm going Brian Burns. I really like the special team of the week cards. It's like the Matthew Berry selections or whatever. I don't really know anything about it. They're kind of fire. This is a 91 Brian Burns at 249 pounds. He's just gonna be a speed rusher off the edge and he can contain really fast QBs like Lamar. So let's grab our right end. Our left end is locked up. Our right end is gonna come in at a what? Ooh, this is good. Uh, actually, is this good or is that too heavy for a right end? I don't know. There is one perfect right end for us. Fits in nicely and a solid 93 over overall is Harrison Phillips. Harrison Phillips, 6'3", 307. He's got what looks like a D tackle build to me, but I guess we'll call him a right end and throw him on the squad. All right, on to our user middle linebacker. Very important position. I prefer they were 345 pounds. No, why does this exist? Oh my God, why does this exist? I thought for sure I'd get to respin because there's no middle linebacker even in the vicinity of 300 pounds, but of course I'd be dead wrong. There's a 90 overall middle linebacker, Joe Thomas. At 6'6", six six, 312 pounds. He has 85 speed, I guess. That's actually a lot better than I thought. What's his change of direction? 81. This is going to be a horrible user. 90, middle linebacker Joe Thomas. We need an elite edge rusher, like a super elite edge rusher. I don't know about Harrison Phillips. This is huge. Burger it, burger it, burger it, burger it. Don't even need a burger. Because 265 is great. That is a great size. That's another team of the week and not the best option. But we'll take what we can get. And what we can get is 91 overall right outside linebacker Zadarius Smith. 6'4", 260. 72. Like I said, I mean, that's a big ass linebacker. That's a huge linebacker. But he's added to the squad. Joe Thomas and Zadarius Smith at linebackers right now. All right, next up is left outside linebacker. I feel like 215 is a sweet spot. Ooh, see, I don't want to be this heavy. I don't want to be this heavy. 295? That is huge for a, a left outside linebacker. That is absolutely massive. Absolutely clutched up. This is huge. Dude, I thought this was going to be a nightmare. We got saved by the heaviest left outside linebacker in the game. Carlos Dunlap has a 91 overall left outside linebacker. 6'6", six six, 285, 89 speed, 92 excel. Dude, my linebackers are 90, 91, 91. It's, it, we actually kind of got out of there safe for how heavy those wheel spins were. Now where we're really in trouble, I think, is my secondary. Dude, we've gotten like no light wheel spins. And we're going to need a strong safety here. Sit, 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 sit. I don't think anyone's going to be 165 because that is so small. But this is way better than super heavy. The absolute lightest strong safety in the lead is Rodney McLeod. If you gave me 100 guesses, I never would have guessed this. 88 strong safety, Rodney McLeod. 5'10", 183. Not a stud by any means, but we're going we're gonna to make do with what we got here. Our free safety could be a user. Oh, yes. Oh, salad, salad, salad. I haven't got a salad yet. Yes! Oh, we needed that so bad. Let's go. All right. Any free safety, 250 or less, that's virtually every free safety. And in fact, it may be every single free safety. This may just straight up be a free safety jackpot. Heaviest free safety in the entire game is Julius Pepper's free safety, who's 295. So it's not an entire jackpot. There's also free safety Derrick Henry, who's 255. But I can take anybody else. I think I have a pretty obvious buy here. My absolute favorite safety of all time, one AP crusher, 94 overall, 200. 17 pound Steve Atwater. This is a nostalgic guy for me. He's also a top 10 safety. There are better safeties. You know, there's a 96 Honey Badger. There's a 96 Thomas Davis, 95 Ronnie Lott, but he's still the best player on my defense right now. And I'm very happy to have him. Free safety was great. We're going to go to corners next. We need light. 
Even, you know what? 175 is fine here. 165, I'm a little worried about. Ooh, yes. This dude, this is actually really good. 175. Corner's gotta be the lightest players out there other than kickers. Okay, Mike Hilton played such a good playoffs. He's such an underrated stud corner. I love Mike Hilton. I'm a Mike Hilton sexual. He's 5'9", 184, which means he is one pound, underweight, and he makes this weight class. 5'9", like, sucks. It does, but I am excited to use Mike Hilton. Our second corner. Corner number two is gonna be a big boy. He's gonna be a real big boy. Although that could be good because it might be Carmichael. Carmichael might be the closest to this. I have to imagine he is. He's not. There's a 90 overall slot corner who's 340 pounds. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Sam Adams? Dude, shouldn't you be like founding the, the United States? Shouldn't you be writing the Declaration of Independence? Dude, 94 XL 88 speed? He might actually be kind of cracked. Maybe I shouldn't talk shit. His hit power is 93. Okay, that is our corner two. Our final corner. It's actually really important. Our slot corner is very important. They're going to be a great weight. This is like Rod Woodson, Charles Woodson. Spectacular final spin. 205 pound. Spectacular spin. 205 has got to be the money weight for corners, man. I don't think it gets much better than that. Did I call it or did I call it? 94 overall Rod Woodson. A strong tackling physical corner at 6 foot 205. Mike Hilton, Rod Woodson, Sam Adams. Quite the secondary. Dude, I literally will personally hand any of you a million dollars if you ever go up against Sam Adams. Adams, Rod Woodson, and Mike Hilton in an online head-to-head -head game. All right, defense, what are we looking at? Oh, and by the way, sorry guys, I lost the footage, but I did do a spin for punter, and I happened to land right on 207 pounds. Uh, so I got the Scottish Hammer, you know, it was the only option available at 207 pounds, so I just took them, you know, throw away, really. I didn't even think about it. Offense is 12 of 12. Defense is 12 of 12. The Wheel of Weights has built us an interesting team. Let's see if we can get a win with it. Cunningham, Mac actually, that is such a good top three to see. As far as this deep in the game, this is gonna be a fair matchup. These are the grossest uniforms I've ever seen. His and mine. What, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, gentlemen? I guess Joe Thomas just got to clamp up the middle. Ooh, dude, low key. If I if I pick you off with Joe Thomas, no lurker, bro, it's time to uninstall. All right, play action. Do it. Do it. Oh, Joey, Joey, Joey. He literally can't even get lurker. That's such an interception. Any safety picks that off. All right, let's blitz, boys. I'm sending at, at water at this QB. I don't care who he's guarding. Oh, he's running it. That's good for us. Maybe not. Joey, Joey. Let's not get, let's not let him do this to us. CJ2K back there wreaking havoc. At water! Hell of a play! And Joey! Oh, wait, that wasn't. It was Harrison Phillips. Harrison Phillips blew that up. All right, everybody's got a blitz. We got to get there. Let's go, Atwater. It's play action. I got to go back. No! Go, Mike! Mike Hilton got torched. No! Wait, why did you sack him? Oh my god, he was standing in the QB's face and he didn't sack him. Why did you? What a loser. This guy is about to feel the fucking wrath. He's Ooh. gonna feel the wrath of the quad father, bro. I can't wait to run halfback dive seven times and then score. A few moments later. Oh my god, I don't have quad father. I have King Henry. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You know exactly what I mean. Seven halfback stretches for King Henry. Let's go. Edge. 1,000% broken tackle. Another one. Ooh, way to go, low. Smart man. There's one. We're gonna motion out Jacob Johnson to kind of get a crackback block here. Should be easy for him to just kind of light up that linebacker. Same shit. Broken. Ooh, bad animation. All right, that's two. Broken. Ooh, but I'm not there yet. It's fourth and one. All right, Kyler, we're gonna pass here. How is Cheetah not open? No! I had a wide open A, but he got to me so fast. Wait, am I dog water? Question mark? Am I trash? You didn't have to say it. He's gonna go with the stretch again, Joe Thomas! There's no way he runs this ball again. Okay. There is a way he runs it again, but Joe Thomas is there! Woodson lights him up! And oh, he's gonna get positive yards on that. That is ultra tilting. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, Joey! Joey Thomas! It's fourth and one! Now we're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Look at Mikey Mike! Hilton said, not this time, buddy! Not this time! Oh, keep going, Hilton! Keep going, Hilton! Spin! Mike Hilton wasn't about to get torched like that. That's five, nine, Mike Hilton on six, five, Megatron. Hell of a play. Now let's switch it up. First and ten. I see the cheat. I'm going to him. Great catch. Dude, we gotta get Dexter Lawrence in here to block. What am I doing? Wait a second. I gotta go single back, wing tight, stretch. This should go right to Dexter Lawrence's side. Yeah, I like this, actually. Is it too heavy over there, though? Is it too overloaded? Not if you cut it back, I suppose. Second and seven. King Henry wide open. Beautiful catch. Nice truck. Always gotta go low on that, man. Great blocks, gentlemen. Oh, I need a better block on that. I said great blocks a little, a little preemptively there. Well, clearly what we have to do is throw to Dexter Lawrence. That's what I've been doing wrong. There's Dexter Lawrence. What I 
tell you. <laughs> he fucking caught that. Dexter Lawrence caught that. Ooh, I just got it off too. Two minute warning. We are in field goal range. Just gonna give it to him. I might have been able to keep that with Kyler. I didn't really read that. I'm going for it. I don't believe in field goals. They're a myth perpetrated by the government. I'm just throwing cheetah shit. God, that pressure's hot, dude. I need those tackles. I got no right tackles. Ooh, Hendricks, the nice play. Second and six. All right, let's send a blitz. He's gonna go play action. Hey, look who got home. Carlos Dunlap, third and six. Ooh, he gets nothing off. Look who's there again, Carlos Dunlap. More than six from his own 24. I'm sticking in cover three sky. We're killing him right now with this. We're there! Joe Thomas! Middle linebacker Joe! Get through him! Big boy! Let's go! Joe Thomas! Elite MLB plays. Elite drop back. Dude, we gotta scramble with Kyler. Kyler is, is just piss poor right now. Look at that. Look at that line absolutely collapse up there. I'm gonna go King Henry. Drops the pet. Uh -huh. I don't know if I would've gotten it anyway. Oh, Cheetah. Cheetah got him. Hell of a move, Cheetah. Fourth and one. I'm going for it. I'm gonna use this whole clock though. He's getting ready for me to do that exact same thing. Oh, he's kind of like off sides right now. There's nothing open. Absolutely nothing. Fuck man coverage. Hey, we got we got fast boys there to make the tackle. He doesn't have enough time to score, I don't think. That sucks. Maybe I should have ran that ball. I got King Henry for one yard. I should probably run the ball. I'm looking like the Seahawks out here. I gotta beat this man coverage somehow. Kyler's gotta get cooking here. How does Cheetah look here? Ah, uh, that was a zone, actually. That was zone coverage. He still is in zone. So let's go King Henry. Break the first tackle, as always. This drive looks and feels better already. We're playing smarter and slower. Let's go get some points. Let's try and get a whip route out of Cheetah if he's in man. Ooh, beauty. Great throw, Kyler. Tyreek's ability is kind of sick. Breaking all these tackles. Now let's run the ball. Let's keep him on his toes. Dude, wow. How come I can't get a yard? I couldn't buy a yard. I'm going to go out route on Cheetah. Jesus, are you kidding me? Dude, Cheetah just rubbed no, straight sorry. into his man. Oh, that was horrible over there. So much bumping, and he can't get it. Oh, this is a pitiful offense right now. I've literally blown him up. So Dude, if I could just pick up a fumble, I'd feel a lot better. If I just took field goals, actually, if I believed in field goals, hell of a play. We have him bottled. He's got like 2.2 yards per carry. All right, this is play action. I'm just going to go get the quarterback. Yup! Let's go! Called it! Fourth and 20. I'm just gonna blitz heavy. Fourth and 20. I'm just not gonna give him time. Get there! Gotta make that! Hey! No way! There's absolutely no way! What a hit! Oh, what a bummer. CJ2K still bottled, but he's just chewing clock now. Maybe another play action. Could be the exact same play. Let me use your at water. Try and get a lurk here. Left side might be open. He's got nothing. That might have pulled him out of field goal range. I'm going to call a timeout. Third and 13. We know this is a pass. Ooh. That was a feed. And Ooh. I missed. And I missed again. Bomber. All right. Let's see if Megatron and Cheetah. Oh, it's not man. Tampa 2. Little play action. A little rifle to the slot receiver. Hines Ward. Nice catch. She's going to put Megatron on a whip. There he is. Probably not the time to figure out how to play offense. Slash not throw interceptions, but you got to start somewhere, right? Cheetah. Beauty. Please don't fumble. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Keep it simple. Now, I'm going to score now. It's just whether or not I can stop my defense. Ooh, it's a man. Cheetah on the one. Oh, I'm going to get stood up on the one again. No, 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 no. I have an insane interior. I have Derrick Henry. Dexter Lawrence pull blocks here. This is a touchdown. It has to be. That's an offside, sir. You're just standing over top of my right guard foot across the shit. I'm going to get stood up again. Cheetah, I need you, buddy. What a catch. Holy shit. Fully bailed. Fully bailed, but I'll take it. I only have one timeout. He also has the two minute warning. Big one, Woodson. Oh my God, we have lit him up. He's taken so many crusher hits. Oh, Joey. <laughs> We're hitting them so fucking hard. He's already fumbled twice. I seem to fumble again. <laughs> oh, he checked down. He doesn't want it. One more, Woodson. You got one more in you? Damn it. Hey, GG's. Pitiful offense, but, uh, hey, the wheel of weight didn't quite pay off, but I had a good time building the squad. I never got to see a Sam Adams acrobat. If I got to see a Sam Adams acrobat, it would have been a different story. Hey, well, appreciate you guys for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.